Last Thursday, Timor-Leste commemorated 49 years since it unilaterally declared independence from Portugal on the 28th of November 1975. In the lead-up to the main event in Wekusi, some invitation to indicted and alleged war criminals during the Indonesian occupation raised many questions among ordinary Timorese over the government's current approach to reconciliation. A discipline celebration at a scenic spot. The President of the Republic led the ceremony for the 49th anniversary of the Independence Proclamation in front of Oikusi locals, Timorese government members and foreign visitors. Among them was former General Uiranto, who led the Indonesian armed forces during the violence before and after Timor-Leste's independence war. Today, we pay tribute to our heroes. They all sacrificed their lives for us to have our sovereignty today. We are also happy to have distinguished local and foreign guests. I would like to especially welcome Indonesia's coordinating Minister for Defense and Security Affairs, General Wiranto and Lieutenant General Kiki Sanakiri. In 2004, the former military commander publicly apologized for the violence that occurred under his watch. This was his first return to Timor-Leste since the Indonesian withdrawal in 1999. In the days before the event, rumors soared around Timor-Leste regarding the possible attendance of Eurico Guterres. The pro-Indonesian militia leader was one of the most notorious perpetrators of the violence in 1999, most notably the Likisa Charles massacre and the scorched earth campaign after Timorese voted overwhelmingly for independence. Timor-Leste's Special Crimes Unit formally indicted Wiranto and Euriku for crimes against humanity in 2003. The charges against Uiranto were later dropped, but Eurico Guterres technically remains a wanted man in Timor-Leste. Although no official invitation was announced by the Timorese government, President José Ramzorta met with Eurico Guterres in Kupan in early November, where he allegedly invited the militia leader to return to Timor-Leste as part of his reconciliation program with Indonesia, something the president himself denied. I don't know anything about whether Eriko Guterres is coming or not. Uh, I didn't invite him. Guterres confirmed the invitation but ruled out his attendance. I respect their invitation. However, because they insult the heroes, I will avoid the event. I will not go. In Likisa, the memories of the pro-Jakarta militias rampage in the lead-up to the 1999 vote are still alive and fresh. My father was killed first at our home, then my father's brother and my cousin. They were killed on the 5th, 6th and 8th of April, respectively. Three family members killed by the militia. We were threatened by the militiamen, men, and behind them were Indonesian military forces, so we ran to hide in the church together with the priest. But on the 5th of April, something happened, and the militia came and killed many people here. Likisa locals are unhappy with the government's approach to reconciliation. We saw the news on television which said Eurico Guterres and Prabowo will come to Timor-Leste. From our point of view, these people were the ones that made us suffer. Why does the government want to bring them back? As a victim, I'm upset. Our leaders can invite it, but we should to know that maybe we are going to create again. We are going to bring back 99 for this moment. Before we invite, so we think to develop first our country, to solve first our problems, social problems in our country. Local security watchdog Fundasan Mahain is concerned about what bringing former militiamen back could mean for the stability of Timor-Leste and its citizens.
for ordinary people who were victims, ordinary people who were to, uh, uh, lose their relatives, real families, their family, they, they you know, is digging back their their traumatic and then uh, uh, and then uh, psychologically, it's not good for for the, those the victims. Today, Dionisio de Jesus da Costa is still looking for the remains of his father and uncle. Until now, my father and my uncle's remains have not been found, even after 25 years. Although both countries' governments are working to publicly reconcile, a lack of justice for perpetrators and issues around missing Timorese victims' remains hinder any chance for full reconciliation. Fiki Madeira, RTTN World News.